a very good morning to all my dear students welcome back to english class hope you all are fine and today we'll be starting off with a new topic so are you all ready yes okay so before we begin i will show you a few pictures hope you'll be happy to look at those pictures let's see one by one do you remember this place or you forgot do you remember yes which place is this it's our very own maruna school right and can you see the plants the trees over here the greenery isn't it really good children next see this the coconut tree we have coconut trees we have the other shady trees it's completely uh, you know our school is completely filled with greenery right see this it gives a beauty to the place a school is built in now and this is my favorite picture the the tree over there is the highlight so students let me ask you one question do you miss a school yes and i must say we teachers really miss seeing you all in school and we wish that we get to see you all soon that we get to meet each other in school very soon now other thing now imagine you had vacations and there's no lockdown you're let out you can meet your friends so do you all play out in the street with your friends when we were small when i was small we used to play tree to tree that is you know we just run from one tree to the other tree play hide and seek do you all do that do you all still play all those games i know now you can't but imagine there was no lockdown you would use this tree as so many things right running around touching the tree tree to tree and so many more and have you seen these cute little birds you know these chopping birds sitting there and trying to build their own nest have you seen a nest on a tree it's like a shelter for the birds right and then what else does trees do they give us oxygen imagine it's very sunny and you go out for a walk and what do you do if you find a tree if you find a shady tree you immediately go stand there why because it is too cool to stand it's a shade for us right and there's so many advantages from trees and today a poem it's a poem okay today's topic is a poem and it is written by shirley bawa the name of the poem is called trees you know just think about the trees around our school itself and we learn about this poem and another interesting fact for today's class is that we have i won't be reading the poem for you all today but your friends will be reading there are three people three students from class 6 will be reading out the poem for us let's listen carefully to them okay ready let's see how they read page number 21 poem trees trees are for birds trees are for children trees are to make tree houses in trees are to swing swings on trees are for the wind to blow through trees are to hide behind in hide and seek trees are to have tea parties under trees are for kites to get caught in trees are to make cool shades in summer trees are to make no shade in winter trees are for apples to grow on and pears trees are to chop down and call timber trees make mother say what a lovely picture to paint trees make father say what a lot of leaves to rake this fall thank you so much children for reading out the poem for me it's really it was really good so now let's move on to the explanation of it okay trees are for birds let's go with from the first line itself trees are for birds if you have noticed see you know you have done notice that birds come in they you know they fly from different places and take shelter on the trees they make a small nest and take shelter on the trees trees are like their house like we all have different houses trees are their houses okay so trees are for birds trees are for children and this you must be knowing if you go out if you go to a village you will be playing with your cousins climbing up the trees if there's a mango tree you climb up and try to pull out mangoes have fun there right and then 
Trees are to make tree houses in. Trees are to swing, swings on. See, trees are to swing, swings on. Is see? Can you see? Even in your native, they try a two string and you just swing on that. Okay, so trees are used even as a swing. Okay, what is a tree house? I'll show you a picture. So this is a tree house. If you have gone to a resort or a few places interior, they have these small tiny wooden houses which is like which is uh, built on a tree top. Okay, so trees are to trees are to make tree houses in. Trees are to swing swings on okay so for all this the first para says the first four lines tells about how useful it is for the birds and how useful it is for the children out there they play have fun and make tree houses next trees are for the wind to blow through what does it mean if there's a complete breeze okay suddenly the air blows in the trees move right like in the picture see i can show you a picture imagine there's a breeze can see the trees keep moving and but the leaves make sound right what sound that doesn't it make sound yeah all the leaves this they clatter right so let's see the trees are for the wind to blow through so when it blows we feel really cold and it's very nice trees are to hide behind and in hide and seek thus you must be knowing that you all play hide and seek with your friends right you hide behind the tree you count one to ten and then you tell your friends to hide you go hide right so trees are, are to hide behind them hide and seek trees are to have tea parties under see when you go for a picnic you find a shady place for the small table or a bed sheet and then you start having tea or whatever snacks you bought with the friends if you have gone out with families you would know you would have surely done this under tea so so you know the poet is just trying to say in what in what different ways we use trees okay trees are to hide behind in hide and seek trees are to have tea parties under next trees are for kites to get caught in okay so this is would be a complaint for many students uh, do you all know to play kites do you all know to fly kites okay see so in the picture you can see a boy is play the, the kids playing around and the boy is flying a kite okay so kite uh, trees are for kites to get caught in but only problem that children would complain is about what if they were why they worried about the trees because the you know the kite might get caught in the tree see like you can see the picture the kite is imagine the child was playing with the kite and by mistake it got caught so two children will complain about that so that is only one complaint that children have about the trees next trees are to make cool shade in summer so as i told you in the beginning when you all go for a walk and imagine it's very sunny we immediately try to find a shady tree why because it is very cool shade, uh, trees like an umbrella okay so it stops the sun rays and we feel very cool to stand under it so you can see the picture here many people are under the tree so that they will not get the heat of the sun it will be very cool trees are to make no shade in winter in summer it gives us cool right makes the whole situation cool see trees are to make cool shade in summer but in winter what it does it by because of the breeze and all that we feel even more cold so trees are to make no shade in winter it says that it will not give us any shade in winter but make us very cold you are like winter season i like winter season okay so trees will again make it even more cold next trees are for apples to grow on and pears it is not pears it is pears okay so trees are for apples means apples grow on a tree okay see can you see which which fruit is this apple this is an apple tree okay and next one pears uh, it's a very tasty fruit okay so try you must try this fruit it's very tasty so this is it says it even the pears go on trees so trees are for apples to grow on and pears next trees are to chop down and call timber okay so you have seen rr so it's like this electric shock when you get an electric shock all will be right so similarly trees are to chop down and call timber i'll show you what's the difference between timber and wood okay 
So these are the timber blocks. Can you see this? This is a wooden itself. So this is the wood. Okay. So whatever is seen in tree, it's a wood. But when you convert it for furniture, to make furniture, can you see? It's even more furnished. And you know, they have made it fine so that you can make tables, chairs. And that is called timber. T I M. B E R timber. So you all know that we use trees for making furniture, tables, benches, all those are called furniture. So it says trees are to chop down. Chop down means cut off. Okay, cut down the trees and call. What do these people who see? You can see in the first picture what I showed. They cut down and they say, now it's timber, like an electric shop. Timber. Okay, so this one is just put in by the poet to you know to add in more effect to the poem. Next, trees make mother say, what a lovely picture to paint. Okay, so most of you all, you know, there'll be a many of the mothers who are interested in painting. So the poet says that, you know, whenever the mother tries to paint, what does she say? What a lovely picture to paint. She always starts off painting or, you know, painting and drawing or tree. That's like that shows the nature. Okay, so mother's very happy about it. What a lovely picture to paint paint that she's very happy to paint it okay next trees make father say what a lot of leaves to rake this fall r a k e rake means i'll show you the picture see this is called rake can you see this like a heap of dry leaves what happens is when these leaves in the summer season when it dries what happens There'll be a lot of leaves. Even the ground, you have noticed, right? The lot of leaves on the ground and then our aunties, the non-teaching staff, they clean it around and make it like a heap. Okay, so this heap of dry leaves, it's called rake. Okay, trying to collect it and making like a heap. As seen in the picture, which is there on the right. A, what a lot of leaves. So father's like very annoyed, okay? So he sees so much of leaves around and he says, what a lot of leaves to rake this fall. It means to make all these like a heap of dry leaves and then that's the end of the poem isn't it easy children we started off saying trees of a birds children and then we went on saying the advantages of the trees like it's used for timber uh, and then it is a lovely picture to paint it's for apples apples grow on it gives a shade and like that the poet says the advantages of trees now let's move on to a few fill-ups. It's there in your page number 23 in your government textbook, page number 23. Okay, you I'll tell you the answers now. I want you to fill it up in your textbook. Little three houses seen on dash. As I showed you a picture last time, I'm in the beginning of the poem here. The three houses we saw, right? A small wooden house which is on the top of the tree. What are the three houses called? It's seen on, where, where is it seen? It's seen on treetop. What is a treetop? In the top of the tree, they build a small house. That's why it's called a little tree house. Those houses are called tree houses and where it is built? On treetop. Next one. A girl hides dash or tree to play dash and dash. A girl hides, we, we, have, we have told the sentence also in the poem. A girl hides, where, does they hi where do they hide? When you are playing, which, play, which game we hide and play? That's called hide and seek. And we hide behind a tree. We don't stand in front of a tree, obviously. We stand behind so that we can cover ourselves. So the word in this blank can be, a girl hides behind a tree to play. Which game is it? Hide and seek. Next one. Caught in the branches, an old kite has lost its dash. So now the kite is flying high and if it gets caught in the on the tree, in the branches, what do we say? That's the flight, lost its flight, okay? Lost its flight. See, caught in the branches, an old kite has lost its flight. Flight means the ability to fly high. Once it's caught, will it fly high? No. So has lost, it says the word lost its flight not not able to fly is called as lost its flight not able to fly next uh, at midday the cool shade is dash now imagine when it's sunny midday is like around 12 o'clock one o'clock when the sun is at this peak very hot okay so at that time at midday the cool shade is when it is cool when there is a shade there what do we say it's soothing soothing means 
very relaxing so this word you can keep changing okay i just added few words which is appropriate to this okay uh, so you can say which is very relaxing okay cool shade is soothing soothing means it's very nice so imagine you drink um you drink a uh, lemonade when it's very hot you say ha huh, it's very soothing means it's very relaxing when you drink water when you drink cold water so similarly um uh, at midday the cool shade here the tree shade is soothing okay next one a coconut palm dash its fronds on a dash day okay coconut palm okay so the coconut tree is there right that one fronds it means it just waves its right okay so a uh, coconut palm dash its fronds it swings its fronds on a in on which day will i showed a picture right where the trees keep moving when the breeze comes and on which day is it on a sunny day will the breeze come no on a some winter day no on a windy day w i n d y okay a coconut palm swings its fronds on a windy day next one a mango tree is laden dash bunches of mango okay a mango tree is laden dash bunches means laden means it's falling off okay laden when you when it's very too heavy with uh, you know with with bunches of mango means when there are a lot of mangoes the branches fall down right it keep laden means it's just falling down okay so a mango tree is laden which one which word you can use it with bunches of mangoes it is just fill ups okay which one word we feel is appropriate we can put in there next a dash tree on a misty day okay it's just given b so we can add it as a banyan tree on a misty day so children make sure you take out page number 23 and fill up these blanks as i mentioned here clear next most important thing is this poem is for memorizing memorizing means you need to by heart this whole poem from the beginning that is right from trees are for birds from there till the end who is a poet shirley borrow is a poet till there you have to by heart with with all punctuations which will be asked for test okay so students please memorize this poem thoroughly okay hope you like the poem okay really liked it do you like trees okay thank you